I had no idea what to expect back at the castle. Mero was convinced the royal selection had to continue, and that even if the judges had decided to execute me, my execution would have been pushed until after the selection was over. If that was true, and killing me was still on the cards, then as long as the selection continued, I had a chance at doing what I needed to do. Win and restore my soul bond with Killian. Easy. You want to know what I just realised? Gully asked. She was sitting on my shoulder and we were both riding up front with Mira. What? I asked. We haven't been bothered once the whole way back. Mira looked over at me, an eyebrow cocked. She's right, Mira said. I hadn't considered it. Last time we were through here, we were attacked by Vren. Didn't someone say they only attack if they think they can win? I asked. They must know that attacking us is probably only going to end bad for them. It's made for a quiet trip, Gully said. That's all I'm saying. You bored, Gull? I said quiet, not boring. I think someone has a taste for adventure now. And what if I do? I shrugged. There's nothing wrong with that. Only who would have thought the two of us would ever set off on adventures and like it? I know. The world is upside down. In more ways than one, Mera said, pointing directly above us. We were still in the woods, but the trees were spacing further apart as we reached the edge. The canopy overhead had started thinning out, and through it I could see the sky, or the lack of it. Instead of the crisp Arcadian winter blues I had become accustomed to, there were only thick, churning, roiling clouds that darkened the closer we got to the castle. They were so dense, almost no sunlight was able to filter through them. If they got any deeper, I worried we wouldn't be able to tell whether it was day or night. But there was little we could do about it. The Viridian had stretched and become a massive entity ever since I'd had to... kill Killian. It had gotten more powerful, not less, and I feared it still had more strength to gain. We should be careful, I said, as my heart rate steadily began to rise. You know what the storm brings with it. Winlo, Gully said, shuddering. I hate them. Don't. They're lost and they're being used. I kind of wish I could help them. That's your human side talking, Mira said. They wish no such thing for you. I know, but I can't help that. Unfortunately. Hey, don't pretend my humanity isn't endearing. Her eyes rolled. I suppose it's somewhat infectious. I side-eyed her. Somewhat? She cocked an eyebrow. Don't push it. I don't know. Gully said. I mean, when we first met you, you were Miss Ice Queen covered in stalactites, but now... Mira turned her eyes ahead. Maybe I should harden those points again. She suddenly pulled on the reins, and Ollie, our huge fluffy white elk, came to a halt.